you do when you're put in the situation where you need to make a choice? You may have friends, family, or a spouse that are either a boyfriend or girlfriend that has a view that conflicts with your Christian beliefs. How do you go about it? Do you choose God or do you choose man? Let's take a look at these words from Jesus. Matthew 22 and verse 36. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. You should love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Okay, we see here that the first and greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your soul, your heart, and your mind. Now, when it comes down to your relationship with man, be it as you may love them with a lot of heart, your primary responsibility is to love God first and the second commandment is to love your neighbor or your fellow man or your brother or your sister but the first fruit always go to God what if my loved one who's not a Christian asks me to make a choice that directly is forbidden by God what should I do in this situation to find our answer we're going to look at Matthew 10 verses 37 and verse 38 and it reads he who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me and he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me so the purpose of this verse is to say it's great to have love for all those categories mother father son and daughter and you could also apply the principle I'm certain that no one would disagree with husband, wife, and boyfriend and girlfriend. It's great. God says if you don't have love, you don't know him. But the thing is, we can't apply any of these things before our relationship with God. We have to always keep in mind if someone's asking us something and it goes against the Bible and what we are taught by the Bible, then we should probably choose the Bible over that situation. I hope that's kind of clear. Let's say I do choose to listen to my loved one over God. Is it really sin? We find our answer in Romans 6 and verse 16. Do you not know that to whom you present yourself slaves to obey, you are that one slave whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness? Do you see the contrast there? You have two opposing views. You could either choose to obey someone other than God and just review the verse and pray on it. Or you could choose to obey God. Choosing to obey God is considered righteousness. While choosing to obey man, be it may how much love you may have for them, is still considered sin when it conflicts with your relationship with God. We have to choose God every time. If my friend, family, loved one are not believers, is it okay for me to sacrifice, you know, maybe compromise just a wee little bit of my faith so that we can better get along? We find an answer to this question in Galatians 5, verses 8 and 9. And it reads, This persuasion does not come from him who calls you. A little leaven leavens the whole lump you know in a lot of Christian homes the non-believing husband and a believing wife are married or either the exact opposite and the believer always seems to think that once we're married I'll convert them to Christianity but statistics show that it's actually normally the other way around a perfect example of this is if we look at the first century church in where a lot of Romans were becoming Christians under Constantine, but they were on it to make it easier for more Romans to convert into Christianity. So, what they did was they said, hey, instead of Osiris and Isis and Horus, 
we'll call them Mary and Jesus. Instead of Apollos and Jupiter, we'll call them Peter and Paul. Instead of this converting more pagans to Christians in a sense where they kept the biblical truth, it actually led the church to an apostate situation. So I want to encourage you to stay strong in the faith, hold on to your biblical principles and the relationship with God no matter what. Now this is normally the part of the video I would ask you to subscribe to my channel. And yes, I'm asking you to subscribe to my channel. These videos are going to keep coming and they're going to keep getting better in quality. And I'm going to get more comfortable in front of the camera and there's going to be more good things to come. But I also want to ask that someone on this page probably up in this corner, I'm not maybe this corner. One of these corners is going to be an annotation where you can click through and subscribe and sign up and like our Facebook page. That's what I want you to do with growing that. There's a ton of motivation when you sign in Facebook instead of seeing all the worldly stuff. You could see some posts from us. That hopefully give you strength and encouragement for the day. And I also want to encourage you to open your Bibles daily and get a closer relationship with God. Until next time, this is Tim Cows from According to His Will Ministry signing out.